Back Las Vegas nonprofits are claiming there will be a disastrous consequences after Governor Lombardo vetoed Senate Bill 335, which would have halted evictions for tenants with a pending application for rental assistance. That's right. Our Kelsey McFarland explains where the eviction crisis stands in Southern Nevada and why Governor Joe Lombardo nixed the legislation. On June 5th, COVID era evictions protections expired after two years in place and Senate Bill 335 was essentially meant to extend those protections. Now that it was vetoed, the Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada fears thousands could be homeless. So there's a massive eviction crisis in Southern Nevada, especially in Las Vegas right now. The Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada typically sees 300 people walk in their office for eviction assistance daily. Recently, the nonprofit says that number is closer to 500 people a day. SB 335 would have given those tenants a 60 day grace period, allowing their rental assistance application to be processed before they face eviction. And these folks are primarily disabled and elderly tenants. They're being thrown out and forced into homelessness because there are no state protections at this time. Governor Lombardo's office didn't respond to my request for an interview, but referred us to his veto message on the governor's website. The governor said the bill would create more hurdles for a landlord to evict a non-compliant tenant. He wrote in part, not only would this make the eviction process more time consuming, it would also make it more costly, potentially worsening availability and accessibility to residential properties for those looking to rent. And if you are facing eviction, you can head to Help of Southern Nevada. The nonprofit helps people facing homelessness find housing and services. You can find the links to that on our website right now at KTNV.com. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Kelsey McFarland. Governor Lombardo also set a new record for the most vetoes issued in a single legislative session. He rejected 75 bills passed by the Democrat-controlled legislature.